Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today, we are going to do a reading for Sagittarius. Um, interesting, I wasn't even sure like what type of reading I was going to do. Um, and then, you know, that's when I just quiet my mind and see what pops in my head. And you popped in my head. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is for your birthday. Um, happy birthday for those who have a birthday coming up. Um, but I feel like it's just a special reading for you, whatever it may be. So maybe a little bit of everything could be your birthday reading. Um, you know, whatever it is, it is. Um, I, you know, I want to remind you that we have the full moon in Taurus. And that's really going to be a lot about our creativity. Um, I even wrote some things down. It's going to increase our, our creativity, our inspiration, and the boldness to make things happen. Now, you add Sagittarius behind it. Well, there's that boldness. Um, some of you could be you know, discovering new ways to, to bring something together. Um, I feel like, you know, it's like whatever was of the past, now I've learned from it and maybe I'm using it in some way. Um, some of you, it's like you are you have a side hustle. You know, you work, but then you have this, maybe something you do from home, it feels like a side hustle. I feel like, um, and I'm not reading this, I'm just feeling this. I feel like, uh, I feel like that's going to increase. And I wouldn't be surprised if you were like guided towards it, you know, like out of the blue, like your interest got peaked and it could be years ago, um, but your interest got peaked and you started following something and next thing you know, you know, and though it may have taken years, this may be a time when you're bringing it back out. Um, so I think it's something that's already like a talent you already have. Um, but I also feel like it's something that brings you peace. And um, I like that. I like the feeling of that. Um, this is really a great time for those who think about career moves, you know what I mean? Again, boldness, like the boldness to do what it is I really want to do. Um, and for some of you, it could be career moves. Maybe those little side hustles are now turning more into something like you can make full time. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Or you will be. All right, I don't know. I was just picking all of that up. And by the way, for anyone who's new, um, I do read through my spirit guides who just connect with your spirit guides. I mean, we're just all energy. You know what I mean? Um, and not it's not like you even have to tell them you're going to be here. I feel like a lot of my readings, like your guides nudge you towards it. And it, it may have, you, you may look at it and be like, but that's not even my sign. Um, but something is making you, you know, is pulling you in. That's the same thing I feel with with some abundance. You know, something pulled you in um, just, just enough where it piqued your interest and then you took it from there. So anyways, um, again, the Sagittarius sun, moon, rising. Um, I know a lot of you are going to be intuitively guided. Just feel it. Uh, you could certainly be in love with the Sagittarius. Um, platonically, romantically, you know, doesn't matter. If you're here, you know, just seeing what's going on, like, in their energy, uh, your guides know that. So just be open to, you know, I feel like in the whole reading, just be open to receiving. Definitely you can ask your guides for a confirmation. I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking, but I don't know. Um, feels like I need to. Like everything I'm saying, I feel like is important. 
um, anyway. Um, and then one last thing, I am running a $25 off on a personal reading. I'm doing it for a limited time. It's like a holiday. I know I started early. I don't know why. But anyway, so, and you can give it as a gift. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Um, it just means you trust me to, you know, read for a loved one. And I thank you for that. Um, anyway, $25 off. Uh, and I have regular readings, and I say regular readings, they're long. They're like two hours long. They're in-depth. Um, I feel like it's a mixture of, like, questions being answered, but also, like, you know, maybe what, what you need to hear spiritually. Um, anyway, so that's for a limited time. Like, I don't want to push myself around Christmas time, you know what I mean? Um, around the holidays. So I'm I'm just gonna leave it open for a little a little bit of time. Anyways, let's stop talking. Alright, so because I kind of feel like it's your birthday reading, um, but then I feel like it's a special reading. I really brought out everything. I have the romance angels in case anything turns to love like romantic love. Um, I think I am going to use the um, Major Arcanas to give us like just little bullet points of the reading. We're going to clarify or go deeper with the Gilded Tarot. And we're going to, for the main spread, we're going to use the Psychic Tarot. Not really a, a deck that calls me that often for you, but it is, I have a feeling, um, you know, they're like different decks read in different ways. It kind of gives me a clue of like where your storyline is at. And it could certainly be like in your, you know, your intuition may be growing. Uh -huh. I don't know, I only feel good things. Like, I feel up, up, and up. Up, up, and away. My beautiful, my beautiful. Body. Well, that's an old song. All right. All right, we have truth. Truth. You know, this is your own truth. You know, it's interesting because as soon as I feel the card, I feel like, ah, oh, it's like I almost feel the weight of, you know, just being very truthful with myself. And sometimes that can mean, like, I just have to be honest that, you know, something or someone or, um, I don't know. I am lov lovingly honest with myself and others. And then we have interesting forgiveness. Forgiveness. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. Truth and forgiveness. Hmm. Both very compassionate energy energies um you know i feel like it's saying it's like a realization of something like just being honest with oneself and then i don't feel like in forgiveness this means that i have to pick up the phone and call this person though they are huggy so, maybe that opportunity is there. Maybe I love someone and, you know, forgiveness, you know, whether I'm saying, like, I forgive you, let's continue moving on in our life, or, or I'm just forgiving in my heart, not really calling the person. 
Um, but for some reason, and I don't feel this very often, I feel that, you know, it's like I'm being honest with myself about something. And that allows me to potentially forgive. You know, forgive someone. Hmm. All right. Let's bring in the Gilded True, or I'm sorry, the um, Major Arcanas. And we're just going to take a couple of them. You know, what we're doing, I feel like, is creating layers to the reading. All right. We have judgment. You know, I feel like this is always a good sign. Um, it is calling you to the present moment. You know, it's like there's that trumpet here, at present day moment. I don't know why, but it's reminding me of like the army and, you know, of like, that trumpet in the morning. Um, but it's calling you to the present moment. Uh, it does mean that there can or potentially is some type of a rebirth. Right? They want you in the present moment because, to me, it means there's some type of sign. Opening up. Not opening up, but you're receiving. They want to give you. You know, it's interesting because they're looking back at forgiveness. So, I am feeling the weight of, like, if I, if I can, if I'm willing, if I can find a way to forgive in my heart and maybe even one forgiving myself you know it's it's not about regretting it's about learning but anyway plus Judgment is calling you to the present moment, right? About to be a rebirth. Um, if I don't forgive, then I am carrying this extra weight, you know, like right off the bat into whatever this rebirth is. You know what I mean? It's like what we don't let go of, we carry. And I think of it as like weight. Like, well, there's 50 pounds. There's that ache, ache in the joints that I just can't figure out. It's like stored unforgiveness. There's those migraines. Hmm, I like this. The magician. The magician. Magician is like just waiting, just waiting for like judgment's call. Um, and you know, like the sun is out, it feels like it all feels good. And then the magician, you know, let's think of if judgment's talking about a rebirth within something, and it can even be within ourselves and a situation. Um, we're really starting as a full, as the full, which means, you know, we're learning from the past, but we're not going to, we're going to extract the wisdom, but not carry the weight of it. So the full lives in the present moment and, you know, uh, has to be willing to take a leap of faith here and there. And the magician is the first mentor the fool meets. Um, 
And the magician teaches the fool that everything you need to be successful on this next journey um, through this next door, you know, you already possess it. It's within you. You know, and, and it's really teaching the ability to manifest, right? It's it's you in this moment and the seeds that you're planting that, you know, have a big say-so of what your harvest is going to be. You know how I felt like some of you are, are starting to feel the fruits of your labor? Anyway. The magician looking right over a judgment like, I hear your call. I hear your call. And it's like all his cards on the table. Number one. you know, may have to start as a singular journey. Who knows? Mm. Tower. Man, it's almost like if, if I want what I want, that may require that this tower take place. And that may feel like guilt. You know what I mean? Like, because I feel like there's something um, that's pulling you. We have the Emperor. It's going to be a long reading, I can tell. The Emperor, and then we have the star. Interesting, because I do feel that, you know, almost I feel like if I chase a certain dream, does that mean, you know, potentially someone has to receive this tower? And interesting, the emperor comes out, um, first of all, Cardi varies, um, but he's looking right at the tower, and it can be like a boss. So some of you, I, I could see you like, you know, I'm not telling you to quit your job, but I could see this is like, it feels like an energy where you are taking charge of, you know, how it is you see your life. It feels pretty powerful. You know, it's almost like this tower is, in a way, your protection to, like, clear the way for you to manifest. You have the star here, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But it, it's saying, judgment, mirroring that, you know, when does it, you know, when does it start? How will I know? Well, I need to be in the present moment. I need to have a clear mind. You know, maybe I need to stop carrying the weight of the world or um, even the pain of the past. Maybe that's what the tower is clearing. The emperor could also represent you as a business owner like creating interesting it's like i haven't even got to your main spread yet holy cow um you know it just feels like the sun is at your back like i feel i feel you're protected i feel like you're being guided um It feels like really meant to be type of energy. It feels like it's you 
having this recognition of yourself um and maybe even like you know maybe up until this point it's interesting because the with the full moon in taurus and it does feel like a responsible sign you know so maybe i am looking at like my own foundation and you know those who are around it or were in it hmm. Interesting how they're all looking back at judgment, even judgments looking over at what Mother Mary brought out, which is truth, your own truth, but also being truthful with others, and then forgiveness. I'm willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life, and then judgment is like, it just feels like that then it's time like now it's almost like a signal to the universe that it's time for you know some type of wish to come true but i do feel like it's it's you know i do feel like it's also through your actions but this just feels like the right time the perfect time all right Psychic Churro. We have spiritual strength. Number nine. You know, it looks like your spiritual team, like holding up the roof, kind of protecting you. You know, maybe the roof is getting heavy, though. Nine is about reflection. And you can talk about your own spiritual growth. You know, you having this recognition of the spiritual growth that you yourself have had. I know my spiritual journey was like from zero. Didn't even think about it. I was just too busy living life. To like things that start happening that just piqued my interest that's just what it had to do and boy did it ever like i couldn't get enough of it and uh, i mean i was at the library like you know every other day getting like you know as many books as i could take out i forget how many they would allow me uh, but i was getting like different authors and it's about the afterlife um just about spirituality not so much religion, you know. I almost feel like that's personal. It's between you and your God. We have shadow with the moon. Interesting to oh, it's an 18. I thought it was 15 for a second. I was going to say the moon is on the 15th uh, in Taurus. In your opposite sign, by the way. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Scorpio. You are yours would be Gemini. Um, but very quickly it moves into Gemini's energy. 9, 18. Interesting. Feels like someone's birthday. 9, 18. You know, by the way, 8 plus 1 is 9, right next to 9. Um, but, you know, I love this image because it kind of breaks it down for us. It, it, may, it allows us to understand that, you know, if there's a light side of to us, which there is, then there's got to be the dark, right? Just polar opposites um, exist within all of us. And I feel like in this image, it's like showing someone, 
you know, in, let's just say, spiritual knowledge, wanting to know, um, getting, even getting to know one's dark side is like, don't not know who you are. Um, but it's like, it's like, you know, you're connected to the light. Interesting because it just pushed judgment and, I'm, and the first thing that popped in my head is some of you, there may be sign, there may be signs that are sent to you when you were sleeping. So we're sound the car. All right. Look at that. We have the lovers. It's interesting because they came in reverse, and I'm going to leave them in reverse. Though I don't, I, I get this feeling that they don't stay in reverse, but let's just leave them there. In reverse at this moment, um, Carter Gemini, the lovers, that's this is the lovers here. It's called Harmony. This is head, a head of a heart decision that could relate back to this tower. Maybe I just need to forgive someone and move on and get going because I feel like, you know. It feels good to step upon this path. I feel like you're meant to. Some of you may have been in this energy of really, you know, whether you ask for it or not, like, you know, no choice but to get to know your shadow side. Um, but not to judge, right? This isn't about judgment. This is just to know. I like to know who you are, you know. Um, we all have good and bad ten tendencies. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, so interesting, the lovers in reverse. Hmm. Beautiful. We have the sun. So interesting, right next on both sides of the lovers, we have the feminine and the masculine with the lovers here. It makes me feel like that these lovers some way, somehow, um, have become like, let's just say, unbalanced. Um, but I feel like the recognition of them is like they're here. We have the Four of Swords healing. You know... Like, I felt the sun in your reading the whole time. Um, here it's called light. And, you know, it is like the moon and the sun, you know, polar opposites. Um, sun comes out in the day, the moon comes out at night. But, you know, they're still in harmony. They're still in balance.
You know, I feel like some of you may be recovering from, let's just say, a love that didn't go maybe as planned. And this may be where, like, as you're going through, like, this healing process, um, because, again, the sun is here. So it's the sun is your illuminator. You know, it helps. It definitely helps to guide you. Um Plus, I feel like when the sun comes out in the reading, like anything that's done in the dark will come to the light. And it's right next to rest and rejuvenation. And this person is very open, like out in nature, you know, open to receiving. And it's mirroring spiritual strength. So I feel like this is where you find that strength is like, in these moments, you know, and it can be like, you know, a moment or it can be 20 moments, you know, an hour, whatever you want it to be. But definitely I feel I'm being opened here. And, you know, it means that you're recovering also from the three of swords. And I'm sure that has to relate to the tower, you know, some type of heartache, something that might have happened, someone that may be where forgiveness is. Again, doesn't mean necessarily you go back to them. Um, but it doesn't mean you don't either. You know, like that's where you want to trust your intuition. You know, something tell me is telling me that these lovers are like more than earthly connected. Let's just put it that way. And you know, it's now I see the sun and I see the moon. Could be, you know, two people just acting in two different ways. Um, you know, could it just may not have been time because it feels like it could have been like different vibrations. Almost like, you know, living in our polar opposites instead of because it just might not have been time. Sometimes I feel like the answer is that simple. The recognition of that answer. Well, it's there. Um, I haven't been giving any signs. So we have Aries, Aquarius, um, Pisces, the ruler of Cancer, Gemini, Leo. Mm, nice. Um, I'm noticing a lot of nines in your reading. Fulfillment of wishes. This is a good one. I mean, like, really, where's the spike going? It's like right around my neighborhood. I need to find the inner harmony of the Nine of Cups. Again, I feel like part of your message is about, like, how you're called within. Like, it's, you know, where do you find your healing? It is within. You know, it feels like doctor, heal thyself. We have partnerships and alliances. Okay. You can definitely see some of you going on this journey and like just kind of following the energy of it and and i must feel singular 
though I do feel like other things happen along the way, but I feel like first it's like about you because I feel like an opportunity to like really, you know, find yourself in a place or at least be on your way to a place that feels good to you, you know, to you. Um, because it is about you and your inner harmony and it is connected directly again to your spirituality. So, you know, I definitely feel that's an important part of your reading. That with the tower again. Interesting. Right under the lovers with the tower right above it. Interesting. Feels like past lifetimes, you know, not once, not twice. Mm. We have discontentment and boredom. This is the four of cups. You know, it's a feeling. Um, it's an emotional feeling. You know, I'm not feeling fulfilled in, in an, you know, probably an emotional part of my life. Um, you know, the thing with the Four of Cups, though, is first of all, the meaning of it is, you, you know, learning to use one's own spiritual discernment. You know, like it's a gift. Um and to trust yourself, you know, because normally you'll see a cup coming in here. If you don't see that here, you do kind of see someone kind of like turned away from the world. But again, doesn't mean like it was a waste of time because again, maybe it's like, you know, maybe you're starting to live your dream and, you know, maybe now you're open to something. We have conflict and defeat. Interesting. This is a five. That's change. Hmm. I feel like the first thing I've got to ask myself is am I being honest with myself about a situation where maybe I'm not truly happy? Because I feel like I feel like for there to be change, I feel like it's you that makes that change that comes about. Even if it's a relationship, it's almost like I need some time out. You know, there's no way conflict and defeat mirroring the Nine of Cups, these two energies belong to each other. I mean, they can't even really coexist unless it's someone else's energy after the fact. Because I feel like in the Nine of Cups, I kind of feel you feel free. Whether that means free from someone, um, even if it's temporarily. So, you know, it could be them. You know, we do have two lovers. And we do have the masculine and the feminine connected. And both have the tower. You know, like one could have done one thing with their life and one could have done another thing with their life. Hmm. You know, that Four Swords feels like more important than really anything here. Because it is, again, that healing. And that healing is like the letting go of, 
you know, and then that person's very open. And the light being right there, you know, that's illumination. With the star being right above that, dreams, wishes. But it feels like it comes to you, like, you know, like in this certain mindset, in this certain type of energy. So I feel like the change within conflict and defeat, um, I almost do feel like it has to be you that makes that change. Okay. Hmm. We have the Ace of Swords, or I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Passion ignited. Look at that. Judgment is like sending you signs, and then here you are feeling it. Like feeling it. Strength card underneath that. Hour, it's called. Interesting. You know, I feel like that Ace of Wands is one of those aces that we've got to reach out and be like, yes, I'll take it. I don't know where it's going. Um, and even judgments would say, well, that's why living in the present moment is so important because it's really, especially with the magician next to us, like it's your seeds that you plant, you know, that really determine like really, truly your tomorrows. I feel like if I'm discontent, bored with something anyway, and the sun's like really illuminating that, and maybe it's meant to be illuminated. You know, sometimes it's things like, ah, I get it. Well, they're being illuminated until you really do get it. <laughs> Let's bring in the Gilded Chirau and let's go another level. All right. I'm going to start at the beginning. Um, but always I'm reading as a whole. You know, I, I'm noticing how like her body is swaying towards uh, truth. And I get this feeling like, you know, for some of you, like truth shall set you free. The truth will, will set you free. I, I also get this feeling like, again, like a journey that you yourself have taken and what you're accomplishing or what you will accomplish, you know, if you put your belief behind it, then, um, like, don't, like that, like, don't negate that because to me, that's also part of your soul's journey. Like that's something your soul wanted to experience. And again, I feel like great opportunity here. Like believe in your dreams. And if there was an ever a time for you to allow them to come out, I feel like it's now.
I have to say for past love, I get this feeling like I keep getting this feeling like there was two different energies going on, you know, two ways of being like me being this way, them being that way. And I feel opposite. And and I kind of feel like the timing wasn't right. Um, because I do feel an imbalance, but I almost feel like, again, maybe because each had their own things that they needed to accomplish. And maybe that's why I feel like, you know, the lovers will turn around. So, you know, we'll see. Um, but, but this could also talk about even like past lifetimes. It's interesting. I just did a reading yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Um, I just felt called to do a reading and, and I didn't even put a title to it at first because I didn't even know who I was doing it for. It's just like read, just read. So that's what I did. And it definitely talked about soulmates who, who had been together in past lifetimes and certain karma that it was very clear um, that they were meant to like pay off and it felt like together, which I don't feel that that often, you know, because I feel like each has their own. But here I felt like, no, it was them together. Um, and it's interesting because um, I, you know, in a way, I, I feel that reading, like I feel the connection between those two readings. So I just want to say that. Okay. Five swords, five swords. The hermit, look at that, another nine, three nines. Look at that, another nine. First of all, two Virgo cards back to back. My Sam has a double Virgo. He's sun and moon. But I also love that energy because, man, especially like any, you know, it's like someone has learned and it feels more like on a spiritual level about, you know, energy and especially toxic type energy, like the type of energy that would stop me from, you know, doing or being, you know, who it is I want to be and what I want to do in the world. Um, and I may not even know where that's coming from, but I feel like that's your spiritual soul. Um and I do feel like, you know, for some of you, it's like, you know, don't look back at in like, oh, man, like, what was I thinking? Um, because I can see a moment of that because I feel like there, it's more about what you've learned. Because in a way, I feel like then it's like the hermit sharing it through the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like abundant type energy. Um you know, it's it's successful self-employment. And then I love the hermit being connected to that because it's like, you know, one's using their spirituality. And I do feel like spirit guides involvement in your life. So anyway, with this we have the strength card looking back. You know, I feel like some of you, you find your healing, you know, in many different ways. But I feel like for some of you, it's like when you allow yourself to like get lost in you and, and you know, what you're doing, what you're creating, you know, like it's when I'm doing tarot, like I forget about the rest of the world, you know, I'm being transported into this reading. Um, I feel like you heal, you help heal yourself. And I get that 
because that's what I feel like Tarot's done for me. It's really helped me see the world in a different way. And that may sound weird. Um, I feel it's more the spirituality that opened up within me than anything. All right. Anyway, three of pentacles. Mm -hmm. We have four of swords. Look at that. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Let's look at this for a second. You know, the first thing I want to say is, you know, I, I do feel like this energy of like overcoming perhaps someone, um, and again, it just like, it just may have been like the energy was like off. Um, but I do want to say at the same time, I feel like this person saw you for who you like really are. Like, you know, like, like saw you. And, um, to me, that means a lot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like we see people, but no, this person like saw you like on, I don't know, your individuality, like, you know, your creativity, like saw you for who you were and like, and that's what they admired about you. Um, and I, and I do feel like, you know, again, Maybe this person was like, though, still was living a certain way. And again, maybe it just wasn't, you know, wasn't the right time. I'm happy to see the Four of Swords again, though, because I feel like if this is, if this is talking about love, then I feel like, you know, any love that's coming together feels like two people. Um have gone through this healing process. You know, the Queen of Pentacles mirroring the Five of Swords. I'll tell you one thing. Queen of Pentacles, I call my psychic detective. And, you know, if you want to talk about truth, I feel like she's the one who would see through that Five of Swords. Um, you know, what other people might miss, she'll pick up on. And that may be again part of the truth, right? Like I can't, I can't deny what I know. What I know, um, you know, from whenever that is. You know, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles connected to the hermit and it definitely feels like they're like connected also connected to judgment so you know it's it's like spiritual um energy behind you to help you succeed even more you know the more you believe in you the more they you know i mean they believe in you but it's it's just like i don't know i feel like things start to flow You know, and I feel like it's it was about learning to use this spiritual part of yourself along with like your earthly knowledge, so to speak, your bookly knowledge. Bookly, your book knowledge. Hmm. Okay. Let's take them the way they came out. We have the Knight of Swords coming over the Nine of Cups. That could be some type of communication. We have Justice. Card of Libra. We have the King of Swords. We have the Hangman over the Four of Cups. 
We have the Four of Wands over Conflict and Defeat. Interesting, that's a Marriage card. Then we have the Ten of Cups under the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Three of Cups. Wow. All right, so we got a lot. Um, but I feel like that's probably the way they wanted to come out. So I feel like um, it definitely feels kind of like singular energy over here. Um, again, it's like where I'm starting to find like this inner balance. And I feel like justice right next to that, it is about balance. So maybe you really are starting to feel balanced again, feeling good, like within your life. Um, you know, even if it's just like you're just beginning this new journey, I feel like it's still, I don't know, it feels kind of free to me. Um, but don't forget, it talks about also fulfillment of wishes, and we have the star card here. So this communication could certainly be like some type of, well, what's below the Ten of Cups? So it feels like of an emotional nature, because it does feel like maybe that's what I feel over here is like the one thing that's lacking. But the hangman is like, well, it's it's almost like it's been put on pause. You know, I do like this four of wands. It's also touching the four swords. So for some, that may be, again, the lovers wear. It could talk about something that comes back around that um, really has the opportunity to heal, you know. That would mean that there was like an awareness. And a lot of times that's what the magician talks about, an awareness. Um, because we do move from the Nine of Cups into the, also the Ten of Cups. And then this marriage card... To me, it talks about commitment, um, but it feels like, you know, it's like being healed. And maybe it's taken its time, but then again, I feel like I like the fact that you're sitting over here, you know, in this inner harmony and wishes like just feels like wishes are coming true. Um, we have Libra's Major Arcana through Justice right next to the King of Swords. So there could be a Libra, Gemini, um, it's also over Gemini, um, Aquarius. We do have, we have all three out. Um, doesn't have to mean any of that. It, you know, to me, it feels like someone's word was off. You know. Like, maybe communication was off. I want to look at this king. You know, it's interesting because you have two very strong energies next to justice. You have the Nine of Pentacles which I always feel feels like independent energy. You know, whether I'm alone or I'm not alone, it definitely feels like where I'm feeling I can take care of me. You know what I mean? I'm feeling strong, um, you know, with what I'm doing. And usually it's like, you know, you're seeing the material of your harvest or knowing that you're going to. You know, um, and then on the other side is the Nine of Cups. That's that inner harmony. So it's like, you know, like two sides of you being like going through this healing process, but also like you taking it, like how far you're taking it. It feels 
you know, feels like you're taking advantage in a good way. All right, but anyway. Hmm, look at that, the Knight of Cups. Dun 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 dun, here I come again. Unexpected Cup of Fulfillment. And, you know, no matter what I did, I couldn't feel the lovers, like, remaining in reverse. I feel like this is now turning them around. Listen, this could have been lifetimes. And I find it interesting that, like, also connecting them are the three of pentacles, and it is about their individuality. And it does feel like this has been a journey about each, like, each lover, you know, each having their own individual journey. Um, you know, hard and and abundant, you know what I mean? And this feels like, you know, a time to flow and absorb and appreciate. And I feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, like the one area you feel like you're lacking is like within your emotional self. Um, I feel like, well, that's may be changing. Um, but I also love that, you know, first that nine of cups is showing. So again, it's that inner harmony, right? It's like, I, I appreciate who I am. And, you know, I've also learned my lessons and, you know, I've been very truthful with myself. Um, I, you know, I feel like no need to wear mask at this point. It's like, you know, being, you know, it's important to be who you just truly are. Anyway, I don't know why I brought all that up. You know what? Um, I'm going to bring in the romance angels and I'm going to follow that Knight of Cups with a couple romance angels. Let's give him a cut. It feels like it belongs. Mm, look at this. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Interesting. You know, I don't know why, but I wasn't feeling like any red flags. You know, I wasn't feeling like watch out type of energy. Um, and it may talk about like previous energy. But I also want to say that I am a big believer in like giving someone, you know, a chance to reveal to you who they truly are. Sometimes that comes with time. We have codependency. It was a reverse though. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Look at that. Did show in reverse. Maybe that's what someone was overcoming.
Interesting. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Soulmate and heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Interesting. This could be two different people. Some of you, it like truly is a head over heart decision. It could be between two different people. Um, but if I have to say, if that's the case, then those red flags will let you know. And to me, it just means pay attention. And then I feel that there's this other energy. It just feels kind of open and... It's like, I feel like here, like someone will want to win my heart, like want to win me over. Um, I often feel in this energy that like, let's say I have children that, you know, they see me as a package deal. They don't like, you know, there's, there's no when I decide, but, you know, there's no separation. It feels like togetherness. Um, you know, I feel like we accept each other, period. And I like these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, they feel kind of romantic. And I like that it's honest. So, again, you could have two. Let's go right in between. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You know, I'm just not going to leave it off the table there for some of you. You know, it could certainly be two people. And one may be coming back like the same old, same old. Um, but I feel like, you know, again... Stay clear-minded and pay attention to the signs because I feel like you'll be guided easily. Um, and then I do feel this other energy that just feels open and loving. And I feel like this is your soulmate. Um, and, you know... I feel children up here might be one of the reasons why I left. Or may, it could have been someone who, like, had some type of an addiction problem and I didn't want my children around it. Like, I feel both sides of this. Um, and over here, I feel like if I have children, it's like a package deal. But I feel like that's just the way it would be anyway. So me. Something told me to pull one more. Yes, this is your soulmate. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I feel like um, this is just asking you to be open, listen, and um. Allow yourself to be guided. Like, I feel like that's the big message is you're going to be guided. Um, you're healing the past. You're letting it go. Um, you know, as, as opportunity and even love moves towards you. You know, I feel like the more you're open as in, that means your intuition is also open. You know, your intuition is paying attention. Um, so again, like if something comes towards you that maybe no is like, no, 
then your intuition is going to tell you that. Trust that. Um, but I also feel like there's things coming towards some of you that it just feels so right. And, you know, I can't help it but connect past lifetimes. You know what I mean? And I feel like ultimately, we're just this heavy landing. Well, ultimately, it has the Knight of Swords mirroring the Four of Wands, which is about true commitment. Um, so some type of communication, but it's coming over the Nine of Cups. This is when you yourself you feel pretty good like you're finding this inner harmony it doesn't have to mean life is perfect i feel like your spirituality feels like you know it feels just right i feel like you feel balanced um so i feel like this communication it may like set your heart strings of fire so to speak um but i feel like you should follow it I feel like you should follow it because for some of you, this could be your soulmate. Like this is your soulmate. It literally says that. And I feel like if anybody of the past who um, hasn't, you know, cleared their own energy or raised their own vibration, I feel like naturally, like the universe is going to allow it to fade away. We just have to allow it. So. This is a long reading, um, but I think, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I feel like this reading more than any of your readings is really asking you to ask yourself like some deep questions and then, um, you know, get ready, just get ready. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I love you guys. What a reading. I love you. Sorry it was so long. Um, feels like it was really long. I don't know if it was long, but it feels like it was. Um, but I feel like it needed to be what it needed to be. So I love you guys. I thank you guys. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye. Happy birthday again for this celebrating.